Hi everyone! Today I'm going for... well, I'm going back to the beginning. I'm going for a swipe and then uh, the jagged swipe tool, probably. Uh, just a regular swipe. I've been testing different methods uh, and having some success, uh, but I think uh, the regular swipe will be the best for today's painting. I'm going to use uh, all kinds of green and blue. Um, just, I think they look really nice together and it's going to be a cool painting. I'm going to put the colors I've used in the description, but um, I've used phthalo blue, phthalo green, Brilliant yellow green by Liquitex. Fluorescent blue, fluorescent green, and ultramarine blue. This here is the color I'm going to swipe with. It's a mix of um, zinc white and chromium green oxide. Uh, both have the heavy pigment densities, so that's why I use the green uh, oxide. And um, this should be interesting, uh, swiping with something else than white, uh, actually green. So I'll try this out and get started. So I'm just going to put the colors here and there and leave room on top for the white green. Oh. to keep a little bit, oops, maybe blotch. Finally, oh, some cream. So, uh, I'll zoom you in on the canvas and I will we'll swipe this. Let's swipe this.
And now I will give you a time lapse so we can see the cells appear and the painting change as it goes. Meanwhile, I will cover my sides. we're back. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I had in mind a water garden and that's why I picked blues and green only. Uh, it's not usual for me to, to not have a contrasting color but I really like that it's smooth and it's very soothing too. Uh, the colors are very very calming. <laughs> you look at it and you're lost in a water garden. Um, so, the reason why I took the jagged swipe tool and swipe this way is because I wanted to break the huge block of color that forms at the top and some unexpected things happen to. Uh, all around that line here, there's some selling up lacing. Uh, I don't know how to call that, but I really like it. <laughs> and um, it really kind of breaks up the block. It's not a solid block. It's more s smooth that way, I find. Um, yeah. Very happy. I mix my colors the usual way, about 50% paint, 50% GAC 800, and I had to that mix between 5 and 25% water, depending on the consistency of the paint. Uh, like for example, oh yeah, and the inks or high floor acrylics, it's one part paint to 10 part medium. And then I add about 5% water because the inks are uh, liquid, very liquid already, and they're very, very pigmented. So they do not need a lot to color up the medium. And since they're very liquid, I do not add a lot of water. Um, I do not add water in the color I use to swipe because I want it to stay dense and heavy. Uh, the water really helps uh, the colors to set up since it's less dense than the paint, it's less dense than all the pigments and that's really helpful for the colors uh, to set up because they're pushed up by the heavy density paint and that's why I use the white zinc white mixed with the chromium green. Um, other than that it's about it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you liked this video, leave it a like. I would appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!